Hey everyone, if you are like so many other investors out there and are wondering how to confidently and safely invest in real estate in 2022, I have a great opportunity for you today. I recently recorded a webinar for Bigger Pockets where I go through my personal philosophy and strategy about investing in any type of marketing market conditions and how to find deals in any type of market conditions. And I really think it's applicable to any type of investor, whether you're just starting out or you're super experienced. So I hope you take a look. It's really good information and I think you're going to get a lot out of it. And if you like this type of information and data, make sure to check out my new podcast called On the Market. We also have our own brand new YouTube channel. You can find a link to that in the sh in the show notes below. And if you have any questions or thoughts about On the Market, or this particular webinar, you can always hit me up on Instagram where I am at the Data Deli. I hope you enjoy. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to this Bigger Pockets webinar How to Mitigate Risk and Grow Your Portfolio. I hope you guys are all as excited as I am to be here. I haven't done a webinar in quite a while, but I feel like this is one of the most important, if not the most important topic we could talk about today given everything that's going on in the world, so many people are wondering about how to invest in this market in a responsible and in an, in an effective way. And that's what we're going to talk all about today. So thank you guys so much for coming. We still have a couple of minutes, so I'm going to wait to let a couple more people join in, make sure everyone gets their seat. Um, but in the meantime, I would love to hear from all of you in the chat. What do you want to learn today? Because I've got some great stuff in store from you. We have door prizes. We have specials. We have so much information to help you take control of your financial future. Uh, but after all, this is for you. So in the chat, go in the chat. Let me know what you guys want to hear while we're waiting for everyone else to get here. Carmen, hello from Tampa, Windsor. Hello. Hi, guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'm super excited. How to expand from Karen. I love that. That's what definitely we're going to be talking about. Data on interest rates. We're going to be talking about the housing shortage. Oh, this is great. How to invest out of state. Oh my God, there's just so many of these. Uh, this is awesome. All right. Got how to invest internationally. That is something I know all about. All right, guys. Thank you. How, I'm seeing a lot out of state. How concerned to be about rising interest rates. That is one of my favorite topics to talk about, investing in expensive markets. Guys, this is great. Thank you so much for sharing. I am going to open up a poll here. So I would like to hear, in addition to telling me in the chat what you want to learn about, because I'm going to try and get to that. And guys, if I don't get to every question that you're putting in here during the actual content, I am going to stick around for a while at the end for Q&A. So if I don't hit on it during the normal course of the presentation, make sure to stick around to the end because I'm going to be answering a lot of questions. You're also going to want to stick around to the end because there's so much great content and we're going to be giving away some really cool prizes. So definitely check that out. But I also, I want to start here by, I'm going to launch a poll. And this is a question I think is super important. And the question is, I'm going to launch it. You can go, hopefully on your screen, you can see this and you can go and respond and tell me how you feel about this question. On a scale of one to five, how much control do you feel you have over your financial future? Because at the end of the day, that's what we are all here to talk about, right? We want to gain control over our financial future, at least that's what I think. Maybe all of you feel like you are in complete control and then good for you. That's awesome. But I'm curious to hear what people think about. If you guys don't know me already, I'm the data guy. So I love watching this data um, come in. So people are responding in the chat, but go into the poll. If you go in the actual poll, you can. I can see all the data in real time. Um, and so far I'm seeing that this is impressive. Actually, it's higher numbers that I than I was expecting. So most people, the most common answer I'm seeing so far is that people feel somewhat in control. That's great. 56% of you are saying that you feel somewhat in control. Only 3% feel totally out of control. And we're going to work on that today. So we are going to get you. What I want to do today is wherever you at, we're going to move you up 
one or maybe two or even three levels today. So if you feel totally out of control, you're going to be at least a three or a four by the end of this webinar. If you are a four, we are going to get you to a five. That is the goal of today's webinar. We are going to get you in control of your financial future. And listen, if you feel out of control, if you don't feel like you have a mastery of financial uh, metrics, of investing, that is totally okay. We've all started there. To be honest, that's where I started. Um, when I was growing up, I, you know, had a lot of challenges financially. I didn't know what I was doing. And over the course of the last 12 years as a real estate investor, I've really gotten into that. So that is what we're going to do today. We're going to we're going to get all into this. It looks like almost everyone is here. So guys, thank you so much for joining. I'm going to close out this poll, but I want just to, just so everyone knows, you can see that you're not alone. If you don't feel completely in control of your financial future, that that is okay. That is what Bigger Pockets is here for. That is what I am here for today. I'm going to share the poll, results of this poll, and we are going to get into all this. All right, guys. So let me just ask you a question. If you don't feel in control of your financial future, what is it? What is holding you back? Why are you lack? Are you lacking confidence? Do you not know how to find a deal? Do you not know how to invest if you don't have the right money? So, or maybe you're scared of market conditions. Those are all really, really good questions. They're things to think about. But let me tell you the truth. Answering those questions is not hard. All you need, all you need is a system to follow. That is the whole result. You're going to watch a whole webinar about a system. And all you need to become financially successful, to use real estate, to find financial freedom, to reach all of your financial goals is following a system that works, that is proven. And I have a system that I'm going to share for you. It's not a guru system where you have to pay $10,000 for it. I'm going to share it all with you today. So that's what we're going to do. So let me ask yourself, as we get into this, ask yourself, do you want to take control of your financial future? Because I think there's a lot of people out there who dream of having this financial future that's incredible and they don't have any financial worries and they can afford the things they want and they have time to spend with their friends and family. But why? What is holding them back? Why aren't they taking control? And so ask yourself this question before we get into this webinar, because that is what this is all about. Do you want to take control of your financial future or are you just going to wish for it? Because you can wish and wish and wish, but at the end of the day, it is up to you to take control to actually make a difference in your financial life. Are you like me and what motivates you is more time? Do you want more time to do the things that you love? Because I certainly do. Do you want passive income? Do you not want to rely on a single income stream that could go away at any time for all of your financial stability? Because I certainly don't. Do you want more freedom? Do you want the ability to travel? Do you want to be able to wake up and decide what to do with your precious time? Because this is it. This is what you need from, uh, this is what motivates me. And so think about this, about if this is what you want to do, if you really want these things, you can achieve them. And today is all about how to achieve any financial goal through real estate. If you want to make $5,000 a month, if you want to retire, or you just want supplemental income, today is all about how to achieve any time, achieve any financial goal through real estate and how to kickstart your investing journey during any market condition. So if you guys follow me on Instagram or know anything about me, one of the things I do a lot of is look at the housing market. And we're going to talk all about the housing market, what's going on, how to mitigate risk in this market. So even though it is an unusual time, I admit that is definitely an unusual time in the housing market. I'm going to talk about how you can still take advantage and become a great, uh, how, become a great investor even in this market. And by the end of this webinar, you're going to have a plan. And ultimately, that's what it comes down to. You need a system, you need a process, you need a plan to kickstart your investing journey and build long-term wealth. So that's what we're going to do today. So today's agenda, we're going to talk about what's going on in the housing market. I'm happy to answer a lot of questions about this at the end. This is something I spend a lot of time talking about, but we're going to talk about what is happening 
in the housing market because it is weird. I, I definitely admit that. I'm a housing market analyst, and this is the weirdest market I've seen, but we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about how to invest when market conditions are questionable or confusing, because sometimes they are. And then I'm going to give you the four-step approach. I call it the safe approach to buying investment properties. And that works in any market condition. And again, that's what we're going to talk a lot about today, how to do this in any market condition. And we're going to do a lot of giveaways. So definitely stick around to the end because this is actually a very special webinar. It's something that we've never done before, um, but we are partnering with Deal Machine. I don't know if you guys know them. They are a uh, driving for dollars list building service where you can find great deals because bigger pockets we have all these great tools the one thing that we don't necessarily have is a way for you to find great deals but we are partnering with deal machine and they have some really great giveaways for you at the end um so definitely check that out and of course at the end i am going to stick around for a while and we are going to do q a so um if you have any questions for me again i saw a lot of questions come through at the beginning while we were waiting for everyone to get here. And if you have any questions that I don't get to in the course of the presentation, uh, just wait around to the end and I'll answer as many as I can. Okay. So the door prizes, the things, if you stick around to the end that you will get, number one is you get all of these slides. We'll send them to you. There's a lot of great information in here. There's data in here. Um, all these steps about how to help you take control of your financial future. That is all in here. You will get that if you stick around to the end. The second one is a brand new thing. I actually just made this. Um, our second door prize is something really cool. This doesn't exist, as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't exist anywhere else that I've seen. And what it is, is the 2022 rent data report. So I found the top 100 cities in America, and I broke down how rent has been growing, where rent is growing the fastest, if it's growing fastest by one bedroom, two bedroom, or apartment rents growing faster than housing rents. Um, all this data, year over year growth, um, it's probably the most comprehensive rent data report I've ever seen. I mean, I know I made it, so I'm a little bit biased, but I think that um, it's it's super cool. We're going to give this away 100% for free. Normally, this is a paid thing. So definitely check that out. Um, we're going to get to that at the end. Um, so just so you guys know who we are, if you aren't familiar, if you're not already a Bigger Pockets member, Bigger Pockets is the ultimate resource for real estate investors. We have over 2 million members who are actively working and becoming financially free through, through the power of real estate. We are the number one podcast for real estate investing. Shout out to everyone here who listens to the podcast. I co-host that or guest host that, I should say, once a month. So definitely check that out. I am also, we're going to launch more information about this in the coming weeks, but I am going to be hosting a brand new Bigger Pockets podcast all about the housing market news and data in the next couple of weeks. So definitely check that out. There are over 5 million forum posts on Bigger Pockets, 40 million YouTube views. So if you have a question that isn't addressed here, just go on Bigger Pockets. So much of this information is free. That's what we're here for. As I said, Bigger Deal Machine, we are partnering with right now to help people find deals. And if you're not familiar with Deal Machine, this started as a driving for dollars tool. If you don't know what driving for dollars is, I'm going to get into this, but probably the most common ways that the pros, the experienced, big, uh, the experienced investors are finding deals right now is driving for dollars. And this is an app just for do that. And they've really evolved over time. It's not just driving for dollars. They are going to get, they work to give people the power of real estate. They want to bring simplicity to this process. They want to make it easier. And we are working together with them because frankly, we just have really closely aligned values and very complementary tools. Bigger Pockets has all these forums and community and calculators and Deal Machine has the one thing Bigger Pockets doesn't have right now, which is how to find great deals. And I know everyone out there is thinking, how am I going to get deals? It's probably the most common thing I hear right now about um, you know, obstacles that people are having in finding uh, and getting involved. So um, that's what we're doing here today. This is brought to you by Bigger Pockets and Deal Machine. First time we're ever doing this, and it's super excited. And um, I just want to share with you what we believe here at Bigger Pockets, because if you're not familiar with us, here's who we are. We believe that real estate investing is the greatest tool on the planet for the average person to build wealth and passive income. And I want to make sure that you understand that this is the average person. These aren't necessarily people who come from wealth or who have a ton of experience in real estate. Bigger Pockets for almost two decades has been helping average people 
like me and like so many thousands and thousands and thousands of people that I've met build wealth through passive income. There's This is something important. It is not a get rich quick scheme. That's not what we're here to tell you about. Getting rich real estate takes time and it takes process. It takes commitment. And we're going to talk all about that today. But if you're expecting to make a million dollars by next year, that's probably not going to happen through real estate. But if you want to systematically build wealth over time, do you want a comfortable financial future? Do you want a comfortable retirement? Real estate can help you do that. Like I said, the goal of real estate is not to get rich, but to live an amazing life of freedom and do what you're meant to do. And I'm going to talk a lot about that because I think when it gets tough, because there are times when anything gets tough, real estate investing can get hard. It really helps to fall back on your your motivation, your why. Why are you doing this? Why are you getting up every day and committing your time and your money to this? And we're going to talk all about that. And what we truly believe is that anyone can invest in real estate, no matter how much money you have, no much time or experience, anyone can invest in real estate. And, And make that stick in your head, because I know a lot of people doubt themselves, and I understand that. But It is really, really important for you to internalize that. You can do this. So many, I've seen thousands of people from all sorts of backgrounds, from all sorts of circumstances, successfully invest in real estate, and you can do it too. Who am I? Why am I here talking to you? My name is Dave Meyer. I am a real estate investor. I've been real estate investing for about 12 years, and I am the vice president of data and analytics at Bigger Pockets. And unlike a lot of people, I know a lot of people out there want to quit their jobs, who want to invest in real estate full time. And I love that. We're going to talk all about that today. But what I do, I love working at Bigger Pockets. So I feel like I got the best job in the world and I invest on the side. So I am primarily a rental property investor in Denver, Colorado, and actually a little bit more all over Colorado these days. I also invest passively in syndications and some passive deals. Um, you might see me on the bigger news section of the Bigger Pockets podcast. So once a month, I host Bigger News. Um, and again, we are going to be launching a brand new podcast that I am the host of in the next couple of weeks. So definitely pay attention. Um, and I am the author of a new book. It's coming in 2022. It's all going to be about data analysis and how to really dig deep on data analysis. Um, That'll come out in October. And I just wanted you guys to know at once, I was also a newbie to real estate. I've been doing this for 12 years, but when I got started, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. I just want you to know, I started at 23. I kind of started because a friend of mine was doing it and he was making all this money. And I was like, if this guy could do it, I can do it. And I absolutely knew nothing. And I did okay. And that was great. And I, and I have been successful, but I look back on it now and I realize all these mistakes I did. I waited way too long between deals. I was very scared. I didn't understand what I was doing really. And I didn't understand when to buy. I had all this money in cash flow buying up and I failed to reinvest it. I tried to time the market. I tried and I operated basically with the scarcity mindset. If you don't know what that means, I just kind of was scared. I was like, I had this one thing and it was working and I was like, oh, I have to protect this. And I didn't scale in the way that I did, that I should have. I managed everything myself. I was working full time. I was in graduate school and I was self-managing seven units at the same time. And like, I could have scaled my real estate business so much more if I had just built a system for growing real estate, but I didn't do that. And then in 2016, I actually joined Bigger Pockets. So I started investing before I even knew what Bigger Pockets was. And in 2016, I joined Bigger Pockets as an employee full time. And all of a sudden, my mind just exploded. And I saw how all of these successful real estate investors, how Brandon Turner and David Green and Jay Scott were doing things. And I realized how little I knew. And so I dedicated myself to understanding the system, to thinking like an investor. And ever since then, my journey has completely changed. I operate with a lot of confidence, even in down markets. And we're going to talk all about that today. Okay. So that's me. And here's what I want to share with you guys. Despite what people might say on Instagram or people who want you to buy a course or something from them, real estate investing, it's not hard. It really isn't. Financial freedom, it seems like this dream, this myth, but it is actually closer than you think. And you know what it is? Do you want to know what the key to success here? It's not rocket science. This isn't something that is super hard. It is something that every single one of you could do. And that is 
goals, plans, and action. It's just not, that's it. It's not about wanting a better life. It's about actually doing something. So let's talk through how to do that. The first step here is getting is to set realistic goals. And this is super important because when it gets hard, uh, you need to know why you're doing things. And the other reason is if you don't have good goals, how are you going to track if you're actually getting closer to something? And so I think the most important thing you can do to start if you're just getting started is defining your why. So my why, these are my personal values. These are things I care about a lot. I care about strong relationships, adventure, freedom, purpose, mental and physical health. And so when I think about why I invest in real estate, when I put my effort out there, it's not because I want to get rich. I don't dream about buying stuff, to be honest. I dream about having more time. I dream about having freedom, about doing the things that matter to me. And so when you are getting scared about real estate investing, when you're doubting whether you can do it, this is what really motivates me. And I think it's what really sets people apart is if you know, have a crystal clear vision in your head, why you want to do this. If you want to get a stronger financial future, that is going to help you. So set goals. I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time on setting goals right here, but it's super important. Then make a plan. And this is what we're going to talk about in the webinar today. So you want to make it a plan to invest in real estate. And lastly, take action. So that's it. Set goals, make a plan, take action. today. That's the framework. And today we're going to really focus on this plan here. So let's get into the content here. What's up with the housing market in 2022? Um, This is a great question. We're going to address the elephant in the room right now. The housing market is unusual. And what most people want to know is, is now a good time to invest? And that's a great question because there have been times historically when it's super obvious, and right now is not as obvious and what to do. So people want to know, is now a good time to invest? Is there a real estate bubble? You're seeing prices go up at one of the fastest rates in history right now. So it's a really good question. Is there a bubble? Are there any good deals out there? So these are the questions that we are going to address right now. Guys, let me know. Do you have any other questions about the housing market? Rising interest rates, right? Inflation, all this stuff is going out. So is it a good time to invest? Well, my theory, and I'm going to explain to you why, is yes, because I don't try to time the market. And I will answer questions as much as you want about the specifics of the housing market. I do this all day. But the best advice that I can give you is do not try to time the market. I don't know. Have you guys, let me know. Have you heard the phrase, time in the market is more important than timing the market? Because that is exactly true. And I just want you to look at this chart because sometimes if I ever am getting cold feet about a deal or I want some self-assurance, I look at this chart. Just look at this chart. How encouraging is it? to see the median sales price of the U.S. over time. I love this chart because it helps me see the big picture. Because I know no one wants to buy at the top only for prices to go down, but look at the average over time. That is what really matters. Remember, we said that buying real estate is not a get-rich-quick scheme. We want to look at things over time. Because if you try and time the market, it's basically impossible. Maybe you you think you know what's going to happen. But the question is, are we here right now? Are we at the top? I don't know, maybe. Or are we here? Or are we at the bottom? Are things going to keep going up right now? You know, I have my theories and I can tell you my theories and I'm happy to share them with you. If you go on my YouTube, you probably see my theories all the time. But at the end of the day, I like to help people understand what's going on in the market, but I don't personally try and time the market because Maybe we're here. Maybe there's a lot of growth. Maybe things are going to go down 5% next year, but they might go 20% before it goes down. No one really knows right now. And that's just the truth. A lot of people, myself included, like to predict when it's going to happen. But at the end of the day, you can't predict it. We are just in some strange economic times. But let me tell you this. The fundamentals right now are much, much better than they were in 2007. The foundation and why the housing market collapsed in 2007 is that there was a lot of subprime lending and overbuilding. 
And those two conditions do not exist today. So subprime lending really is a thing of the past. If you look at the average credit score and how many people are paying their mortgages on time, it's actually way, way better than it has been maybe in a really long time. And even with prices going up as they have been, people are better in better position to service their debt than they have been in a very long time. So that condition doesn't exist. The second is interest rates are super low and they're rising. But if you look at this in historical context, it is still doing really well. So I'm not saying that real estate is flawless. Housing prices are going to flatten out at some point. They might even come down at some point. But you know what? It doesn't really matter because it is unclear what part of the economic cycle we are in. No one knows after until afterward what things were going to crash. And it looks obvious. And I know that makes it confusing because you're like, I don't want to buy because it's because I don't know what's going to happen. So today I want to talk about, now that's just a brief summary of what's going on in the housing market. Interest rates, they're going up, but they're still historically low. Prices are going up, but inventory is still super low. So I think there might be still room to run. But at the end of the day, do not try to time the market. And today let's get into how to invest when market conditions are questionable. So again, time in the market is more important than timing the market. I know no one likes to buy at the top, but again, we don't know when that's going to be, right? And I want to tell you something. Every single investor I know, every single experienced investor I know is still buying. And why is that? And it's because we all know the same thing. We all know that time in the market is what matters most. It's what we can control. We can't control the economic cycles, but we can control when we invest and how long we let that interest compound, how long we invest for. And at the end of the day, inflation right now is eating away at your savings. So you have to do something. If you sit there and do nothing, you will lose seven to 8% of your money by doing nothing right now. So you have to do something. And maybe you want to invest in crypto. Maybe you want to invest in stock market. But to me, investing in real estate is the best. And you're going to, if you start now, you get more time in the market. And there is a better strategy than time in the market. I'm not just saying this in theory. There is an actual strategy that I'm going to share with you today. And that is called dollar cost averaging. Let me know. Have you guys heard of dollar cost averaging before? This is actually a term. Yes. So a lot of people, okay. A lot of people have heard of dollar cost averaging, probably in the stock market, right? I don't think a lot of people have heard of dollar cost averaging. Yes. The stock dollar cost averaging is what my whole theory about real estate investing is based on. So what is dollar cost averaging? Here is the fancy definition. We have a nice picture of a chandelier here for dollar cost averaging. So dollar cost averaging fancy term is an investment strategy in which an investor divides up the total amount to be invested across periodic purchases of a target asset in an effort to reduce the impact of volatility on overall purposes. Very fancy, right? All right, let's get to the simple definition of this. The simple definition is just continue to buy at regular intervals, regardless of market conditions. You have to reduce to, the, and, and what this does is it reduces risk and it maximizes return, right? So this is what simple definition is, dollar cost averaging. Just keep buying regardless of what is doing, whatever's going on. And here's this little image that we came up with, because this is basically what it is. If you're trying to understand what dollar cost averaging is, here's what happens over time, right? So you buy one house in year one, maybe you get it for 150 and that's a little bit over what the average is, but then things happen in the market, it goes down a little bit. Then you get a great deal for 50,000. Then it's 200,000. Then it's 80,000. Then it's a hundred thousand. Then it's 220. And, but basically what you're doing is trying to get the average because remember that chart I showed you before it goes up over time, right? It's a trend is continuously upward. Yes. It goes up and down sometimes, but if you could just ride the average, then you are going to make money over time. And there's this saying in data in data analytics, Again, this is what I do all day, is the trend is your friend. If you look at the trend of the median home price over time, even adjusted for inflation in the United States, it goes up at a steady rate. And if you can just do the average, if you can keep pace with the average 
home price in the United States over time as a rental property, you are going to have a successful financial future, I promise you. So this is the, my basis for how to mitigate risk in this, finan- in, in this difficult time is dollar cost averaging. You can't just look at one purchase. You can't say, I'm going to make this one purchase. And if it goes up or down in the year or the two years right after it, that's going to be my basis for success. No. What you have to do is think about the long term and say that I'm going to buy real estate once a year for the next 10 years. And you know what? You're going to do a great time. And if you look at the long term, if you look at the long term, I promise you it is not uncertain, even though the next year might be uncertain. The next three years might be uncertain. Is 10 years uncertain? Because to me, it is absolutely not uncertain. So I hope you guys understand because it is this is a term that comes from stock investing, but it is actually, it is more beneficial in real estate investing because there are four ways to make money in real estate investing. So you might've heard this other places, but a lot of people, when they're thinking about the market conditions, they think about, is the price of my home going up or down? And that is important. It's, it really is. But that is what we call appreciation, the price, the value of your property. But there are actually four four different ways that you make money rental property investing. And one is cash flow. The second is loan pay down. The third tax benefits. And the last one is appreciation. And now the really important thing that I'm trying to convey to you right here is that market cycles, they only impact one of these. They impact appreciation. They don't impact cash flow. And yes, if there is a big recession, cash flow can go down. But if you look at data from previous recessions, rent goes down a fraction of what appreciation went through. Even in the Great Recession, rent only went down three, five points, but appreciation went down 20%. So cash flow usually stays good even during an economic downturn. So even if your property on paper is worth less, you're still generating cash flow. Second, Loan pay down by having someone else pay down your mortgage for you actually generates a four to five percent compound annual growth rate all on its own. That's really important. All on its own, you're generating just by paying your mortgage every month, you are making a five percent return. And inflation's at seven or eight percent right now. So just by loan pay down, you're almost hedging inflation all by itself. So that's really important. Third is tax benefits. And I'm not going to get into this, but tax benefits, you can generate a really good return for yourself just through depreciation, through deferring taxes, through 1031 exchange. So all sorts of ways. And the reason I just really want to make clear to you um, is that even if the market is going up and down, you're still generating a return if you find a good deal. And that's key, right? Like if you buy a crappy deal, you're not going to make money. You're like, you know, you're, if, you, if you're not cash flowing and you're not appreciating, it's not going to do. So you got to find a good deal. But if you find a good deal, even during a market downturn, even if you go on Zillow and you see your estimate for your house is down a little bit, just don't sell it, right? Like you don't have to lose money there. So this is just something I want you to, t- to think about because it helps you understand that right now, even though market conditions for the next year, two years, three years are a little uncertain, you still generate a good return better, in my opinion, at least. It's better than the bond market, which offers nothing right now. Stock market is down a lot this year and it's super volatile. Crypto is super volatile. Real estate, you will generate a good return even if the housing prices drop a little bit. So something I want you to think about. So you're probably asking yourself, okay, I get it, right? Dollar cost averaging. This is a good strategy. It's common sense. It makes a lot of sense thinking about doing it. But how do I find good deals in this market? Things have been going up so much. Things are so expensive. Now interest rates are starting to go up. So how do I consistently find good deals? And this comes back to what I said earlier. It's all about having a system. Just like every single job out there, just like anything you want to do in life, You have to have a process and a system that is going to work for you. And so if you want to consistently find good deals, you just need a system and a process. And I'm going to share with you mine. And I came up with an acronym, but it's pretty simple. I call it the SAFE process. And listen, I don't want you to make you 
think that I'm saying that if you do this, every investment is super safe. There is risk in real estate investing, just like with every single investment out there, there is always risk. But the safe process to finding deals is going to help. All right. Safe approach. Number one, source. You need to find a lot of deals. You need to go out there and see a lot of deals. That is just one of the most important things out there. Number two, analyze those deals. You have to get really good at analyzing deals so you know what's good and what's not. So one of these things that um, people said before, um, a lot of the questions people asked were, how do I know if a deal is good? And we're going to get into that. But the best way to know is to analyze a lot of deals. If you've looked at 100 deals and you are able to say, I've looked at you know, 90 deals, and all of them have a 5% return. And then you find one that's a 10% return. That's a deal. That's a good deal. Then financing. Obviously, everyone, you need money to finance these deals. And one thing I do a little differently is put financing third, and we'll talk about that in just a minute, and then execute. That one's up to you. You have to have the motivation to go out there and execute on your deal. So the safe approach is a funnel. This is all about a funnel. And if you're not familiar with this, this sort of something works in marketing, it works in sales. And basically what it is, is you have to start at the top with the most. You need to find a lot of deals. Go out there and look at 300 deals. Let's say 300 deals, you're going to find a deal. That is number one. So you got to look at a lot of deals and I'll talk about how to do that in just a second. The next is analyze those deals. So if you go got 300 you know, maybe 40 of them, maybe 40 of them are worth your time analyzing, right? So it's really important to analyze and get good at analyzing those deals. We'll talk about that in a minute. Then maybe out of those 40, you've chip, you pick five. You're going to like, oh, I'm going to go see if I can get a loan on five of these because that's super important. You know, you have to be able to pay for these things, but you don't need all 300 of your sources. You don't have to go see if you can afford all of them. You only need to finance five of them once you know which ones you really, really want, and then ultimately execute one. And so you're probably, th this makes sense, right? Like if you look at 300 deals, I promise you, I promise you, it's probably not going to take 300. You are going to find a good deal. That is just the fact. So you need to be able to find those 300 deals and execute on one of them. And I know that sounds can time consuming, but I'm going to talk to you about how you can do this in a really, really reasonable way. So step one, sourcing deals. Where can you find deals? And to me, there's basically three ways of doing this. The number one is the MLS. We all know this, right? You can go on Zillow, you can go on Redfin, whatever it is. You can go on and do that. And you can go and see if you can find a deal. And there were times, you know, when I started investing in 2010, you could do this all day. You could go on, you could find plenty of deals. But right now, it's a lot harder. It still works. I still look for deals on the MLS, but it is a lot harder to find MLS deals than it used to be. So I think it can happen, but I think it takes a little bit of luck, to be honest. Maybe you're in a good market though. Maybe you're in, you know, I think there's markets like St. Louis or, you know, some places in the Southeast where you can find cash flowing markets on the MLS. It's definitely not where I am in Denver or in big economic hubs. Um, so that's definitely not true. So the second option is either turnkey or wholesale. And this is another good option. So I have never bought deals from a wholesaler or done turnkey, but I've looked into it and there are definitely good ways to do it. So wholesaling, if you're not familiar, it's people who go find off-market deals, which we're going to talk about in a second. It's people go and find off-market deals and then sell them to investors. So you can go on bigger pockets and meet some wholesalers and maybe buy essentially a deal who's someone who's gone out, done the legwork, found a great deal, and you can buy it from them. The other one is turnkey. If you're not familiar with turnkey, this is usually companies go out there and they'll find a deal for you. They're going to use a process to find a whole market deal. So basically what turnkey and wholesalers do is they find off market deals and then they upcharge you for doing the legwork. You know, they did the work. They deserve to make some money off of that to sell it to an investor. And turnkey, rather than what wholesalers do, what a turnkey does is they um, will 
basically rehab it for you. They'll place tenants for you and they, you just buy it. It's like a passive way in investing and you can actually make good returns on it, but it's not as good returns as you can do if you do it yourself. And for some people that's okay. You know, like if you don't have a lot of time, if you don't care about making the max amount of return, you're more interested in convenience. Turnkey is a good way to do it. So that's another way to look for it. Um, you can go on bigger pockets and find different turnkey in the forums, ask people about that. Um, so definitely interesting. Um, so definitely check that out. But ultimately, at the end of the day, the best way, in my opinion, the, the best way to find deals is to go off market. And ultimately, that's really what we, I want to talk about today, because I, I really think that in today's kind of market where it is super expensive, I've seen some people in the chat saying that this is definitely, it's a seller's market. Let's just, like, it is absolutely a seller's market. It's probably one of the strongest seller's market of all time. So going on the MLS is going to be hard because sellers are feeling empowered. They're feeling like they can charge anything they want. But let's talk about off-market deals because it's a super interest, uh, super good approach. Um, and ultimately, the best deals, they tend to come when you work directly with the seller. And this is true in almost every business, right? If you cut out middlemen, you can get the best deal. And that's basically what going off market is, is you're just cutting out the middle. You don't have agents in there. You don't have wholesalers in there. You don't have turnkey operators in there. It's just you working with the seller. Kristen just asked, how do you find off market deals? And I'm going to talk about that right now, because that is, I told you at the beginning, we were working with the partners at Deal Machine, how you do this. And the best way to find off market deals is something called driving for dollars. Let me know in the chat. Have you heard of driving for dollars? Because I can explain it. Um, but basically, um, driving for dollars. No, yes, a lot of people. Okay. So driving for dollars is basically driving around, right? Like that's what it's talking about and finding good properties that you want to invest in, you like it, and then you contact the owner and see if they're willing to sell it. And so the way that some people do this is that they go out and they pick an area and they drive around and they go look for distressed properties, right? So Deal Machine, the company that we are partnering with right now, and they, they have a, a great deal for you at the end that we'll talk about. Deal Machine started as a as an app. So I just switched my screen share to um, to Deal Machine. Can you guys let me know if you see this? Um, oh, Greg says he's a member of Deal Machine. Great. Um, can you guys say, okay, yes, you can. So you can see Deal Machine. So Deal Machine is um, this awesome tool um, that I a lot of people I know use. Um, it's one of the best out there. Um, and basically, basically what Deal Machine does is it helps you find and talk to property owners who might sell you at a discount in any market condition. So they have an app where you can go actually physically drive, but I can't show that to you right now. What I can show you is what they have this really cool feature where you can virtually drive for dollars. So basically I can click on here and drive for dollars. Let me reload this. Sorry. Um, cause it says I'm continue driving. I want to start from scratch. Um, but basically what you do is you build a list of motivator sellers in deal machine through the driving for dollars app, you get in your car, drive around, or you can do this on Lyft. And what you're looking for when you're driving for dollars, if you're looking, um, if you're looking uh, in deal machine, or you're just doing this on your own, what you want to look for here, you want to look for distressed seller signs of distress. So you look for maybe like a bad roof, or maybe you look for weeds that are growing up, like people who aren't taking care of their properties or stuff in the lawn. And the reason is that these properties might be looking for sell to sell, but they're not in the condition where you can put it on the MLS, right? Like if you go on Zillow and you look at deals, they're all manicured and nice and they're staged, but these people might want to sell, but won't do it. So basically what you want to do, let's say that we want to start driving for virtually on the web. And so I'm going to pick St. Louis. I already typed this in before. So we're going to drive over here to St. Louis. And what this does for you um, is it allows you to actually look at deals, build a list, and then contact those people directly all over here. So um, it says select an area. So I'm just going to zoom out here. I honestly, I've spent about an hour of my life in St. Louis ever. Um, so I don't really know where I'm going, but that's kind of the fun of this. I'm going to pick right here on State Street. I'm going to hit start driving. Um, and this is super cool. So I can see here on uh, basically a Google Maps um, and I can start walking down the street. 
And each dot here, if you can see my screen, it's tracking where I go. So that way you know whether or not uh, where you've been, right? So you, um, you, you can track and make sure that you've gone down every street. And this works both on the app and here. And so look, I'm going to screw around and look for distressed property. Hey, I... I got lucky. Look at this one. This looks like a distressed property. So look at this. See, it's boarded up. We see weeds growing. This doesn't look like a property that is well cared for. And so I can click on this and I can just add lead, right? So now I'm adding lead and I'll, and I'll get to what this does in a minute and you can tag it. So I'm looking, okay, this is uh, like, you could see unkept landscaping. This is true. This definitely looks vacant. If it has rust, trash, you can take notes and all of this. So distressed property, I'm looking for it. I'm going to keep and keep driving here. Um, so resume driving. I'm going to keep going down the street. And as you can see, this is a way to find deals, right? Because you might be able to find someone who hasn't thought about selling their house and you go to them and you say, hey, I am willing to buy it for X. Wow. I picked a good area. There's a lot of distressed properties around here. So you you see these places. Um, let's let's keep going. Um, and basically, any one of these single dots here um, is is uh, a a, pro a lead that you can do. So one of the things that you can do here as well is you can filter. Um, so you can add different drivers if you have people on your team. You can also add highlights. So let's say I want I, I made this before. So you said places that have a lot of equity in them. So I might have to zoom out for this. Um, now, maybe this place doesn't have it. Um, I was using this earlier, but basically you can pick any of these filters. So you want to highlight places that has sale price, building square feet. You can basically target whatever your thesis is. Um, so um, Nelly just asked, do you get owner name and contact info? So yes. So once I get this, um, so this is the driving for dollars piece. Another really cool part of um, uh, if you don't want to actually drive around like what I'm doing right here, um, you can actually identify your target properties all in this thing called list builder. So let's just say I want to make a list and I want vacant properties um, and it's a single family, right? Um, so I can do that. I can also add more things and I want to say, um, let's say, I don't know, their equity percent is uh, greater than you know 25%. You can create any sort of filters that you want here and target the exact type of properties that you're looking for. So um, you can do all this. I'm not going to make this in here because I've already done this. But what's really cool is so you build these lists, right? So you either use the Driving for Dollars app or Driving for Dollars part of this, or you use List Builder and you create a list. And so then you get all of your leads. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to pick, um, we're going to analyze some of these in just a minute. Um, but let's just say we go to this place in Oklahoma City. So now I can see, look, this is a vacant property. I can see all of this information about it. I know that it sold for $27,000 in 2020. I can see what the assessed value is and any other information on there. Now, one of the coolest things you can do is hit skip tracing. Um, and what it is, is look at this. We just added 11 phone numbers and four email addresses. You can now choose to contact the owner from. So if you want to look and use this, um, you can absolutely do this. So um, Ed just asked, what deal, tool am I using? This is called Deal Machine. It's one of our partners. They actually have a discount for you. I'll show you in a minute. But so this is super cool. You can go in, you can look at comps and see different places that are similar to this. You can, And then you can actually go out and mail these people. So that's one of the cool things. You can either use their phone number. See, look, I can go and see these people's phone numbers. So now I can actually call this owner, see if they're interested in selling this to me. So you can use this phone number, this, this uh, mail thing, and you can send them a postcard. I know as a real estate investor, I get these postcards and you can customize this and basically go and tell people that you are interested in buying their property. So Deal Machine is one option that you can use. But what I want to show you here is that you should be driving for dollars. If you want to use off-market deals, the best way in my mind in this type of market, to find a great deal is to go off market. So something to consider, something that you should think about here um, is, is using a tool like this. And so let me get back to the deals. So that's Deal Machine. If you guys want to use it, they have an offer for you at the end. 
Um, but there are other ways to do it. But Deal Machine makes it super, super easy for you to find really good deals. And at the end of the day, right, guys, you need to find a system, whether it's Deal Machine or another thing, you need to find a system to be finding a lot of deals and looking at a lot of deals. And that's why we're looking uh, and showing you uh, Deal Machine, because I think it's the best way to find a lot of deals relatively quickly. Yes, it is paid. And we're going to give you a discount for that. But you can do this on your own. But at the end of the day, it's super important for you to be able to see a lot of deals. And unless you're building lists or buying lists somewhere else, building your own, you know, this is one of the best ways to do that. And I think the reason I personally like building lists instead of buying them is because when you buy a list of motivated sellers, that seller might sell 15 or 20, they might sell it to 20 people. They didn't sell it to a hundred people. And so you're competing with all those other people. But if you use a tool like Deal Machine and you actually build your own list, you might be the only person conting that property. You can actually go on there and hunt. Um, so something, uh, something that's super helpful. So that was step one, right? Remember our funnel was source deals, off market, my personal opinion, best way to do it. You can also look in the MLS. You can also look at wholesalers. Number two, deal analysis. So this is super important. And this is a really um, imp important part of, of real estate investing. Like if you can look at a million deals, but if you don't know which one to actually buy, it's kind of useless, right? So uh, there's some little ways to do this. One is to do this manually. You can go and make spreadsheets. I, I did this at the beginning of my career, um, but you can also use a deal calculator and Bigger Pockets allows you to do this. So let's go and use the Bigger Pockets um, rental calculator to do this. So if you're not familiar, you can go on Bigger Pockets. You actually get a couple free uses of this, but it is part of our pro membership. And let's talk about this. So I am going to use a deal that I found um, previously on Deal Machine. Um, that I, where was that? Um, doo -doo -doo. Um, it was Folk Avenue. Um, and so, yeah, 7782. I'm going to just analyze this deal. Um, if you look at it, distressed property, sold in 1999. Um, we skipped, traced it. So what we're going to do is get on here and analyze this deal. Let's do this together. So I already put in some information here, but the bigger pockets calculator basically does all the analysis for you. And I'm going to teach you in five minutes, basically, how to analyze any deal. So it sounds complicated, right? You need to know the math, but really you don't. You really just need a couple of inputs and I'm going to do them here for you. So I already put in this information. I'm going to go delete this. Whoops, I put this in. But let's say purchase price. So we don't know what the purchase price um, of this property would be because it's an off-market deal. If you were doing it on, um, if you were doing it on, uh, Zillow, you know, you would know what it's listed for. But here, um, we're gonna go on and purchase price. Let's say a hundred thousand. And honestly, guys, I'm making this up. You would need to know the market a little bit better. But it's a really distressed property. Like if you look at the picture, you know that it it's not in great condition. It's gonna need a lot of work. And so, let's say it's a hundred thousand dollars for purchase costs. I'm gonna say five thousand dollars, and then I'm gonna say the after repair value is one hundred and fifty one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So um, it's let let's let's just say that these are the assumptions. So I I'll, I'll talk about how I get to these assumptions. So basically, you pick a purchase price that you think you can get it for. You look at comps. Deal Machine has them. Bigger Pockets. Talk to other investors. That's a great way to start analyzing a deal. Figuring out comps, what's out there. So I'm going to say hundred thousand dollars, and our repair cost was fifteen thousand. So these are things that I um, just I'm assuming. Let's look at our property value growth. So I went out and I found some data that showed that in St. Louis, generally, average is about 2% appreciation. So again, all of this is information you can find in bigger pockets, you can Google, or you can find on Deal Machine. And this is super helpful information. Next, let's go to loan details. And I know in my process, we have not talked yet about financing deals and how to finance them, but let's make some simple assumptions and we'll talk about financing in just a minute. But Let's talk about loan deals. So let's just do a simple assumption that we're going to put 20% down. That's the average. Actually, as a real estate investor, you often put 25% down. Um, if you were owner occupied, you can usually get 20%, but you get 25% if you're an investor. So something to think about. Interest rates are going up. So I'm going to put 4% here and a 30% loan term. So these are all, again, super easy things, right, guys? Do you have it like, do you feel like you can do this? This is a super easy thing to put this in here. So rental income, I, I looked this up 
And, and this is a really important thing. How do you find out rent? This is one of the most common questions here. And guys, there's two things that, two resources I'm going to give you here to figure out what rent is. Number one, the door prize I told you all about. I'm going to send you, if you stay to the end, at the end, you get the top 100 markets. You're going to get all of the information about rent in those top 100 markets. The other thing is this amazing tool we have on Bigger Pockets called the Rent Estimator. And so, what was our address here? Sorry, I need to remember 7782 Folk Avenue. This is this amazing tool that we have on Bigger Pockets. Just go in, you type 7782 Folk Avenue. St. Louis, Missouri, and search address. All right, bam, just like that. We can now see that the median expected rent for this property is $950 per month. And we say that we have very high confidence. This is a project I actually worked on for years. And so what we do is we take all this rent data that we collect from across the country and we look at comps and you can actually see which comps that we're using, you can click around here. And we know that 950 is about the average for what you're getting. And then you can also do, see, you know, is it low? Like if your property is not great, um, it might be as low as 640. If your property is super nice in this neighborhood, it might be 1506. You can also see all other information here. And I think this is one of the hardest data to find. Like if you want to find appreciation in St. Lewis, you will be, you'll be able to find that. You can just Google that. If you want to find what a specific property is going to rent for, it's going to be pretty tough. So I really recommend this. Um, it is one of the most accurate things. I mean, I'm biased. I've made, I've, I've, you know, I'm a data analyst. I've spent a lot of time working on this, but it really works. I've done it with my own properties and it's super, super close. So um, this is how I got this data. So let's go back to our rental analysis and we're going to put in 950 here. Right, that's what we think our gross monthly income is. Um, someone's asking, how is the BP rent calculator compared to Rentometer? I honestly can't say how Rentometer's accuracy is. I, I don't have access to their data. I know that the Bigger Pockets one is super accurate. We track how accurate people think it is, and we get very positive feedback from our users. So um, I, I think that's what it is. I'm going to put in a hundred bucks a month. Let's just put a hundred bucks a month in for property taxes and insurance. Let's say 80 bucks a month. I think that's about right. I looked this up before, just so you guys know, and you can do the same thing. So again, none of these things, none of these fields that I'm filling out are super complicated. You could Google what your property taxes are. You could Google what the insurance in that area is. So definitely check that out. Repairs and maintenance. This is something I like to keep at around 5%. If you want to do it higher, you can. It's totally up to you. But I think about 5%, 10% are super important. And then vacancy. You also want to um, put at least 5 maybe 10% for vacancy, depending on cons how conservative you are. But you might want to just look this up in your area. And I think Deal analysis is really about understanding your market because with the bigger pockets calculator, the math is actually super easy. It's really not that complicated. But what you really need to be able to do um, is to find the data inputs. And so, knowing your market, going on bigger pockets and getting this data, it's super easy. Electricity, gas, water, HOA fees, all this stuff, I'm going to put at zero because I, I'm going to charge that to my tenant. So, it's super easy. So, all I need to do, that's what I've done. I'm going to look at, I'm going to expect my sales expenses to go up and my sale expense, I'm going to put at 5.8%. That's the average what you pay. And let's hit update analysis and let's see it. Um, Ryan said, I like this. Like any calculator, garbage in, garbage out, you need to find accurate numbers to input. That's exactly right. And the beauty of what Bigger Pockets does here, what, the, what these calculators do is that they do all the math for you. So all you need to focus on is your deal, sourcing those deals, putting them in there and going. So now we can see, this is great. Monthly cash flow for this deal could be $212 a month. And again, I am really estimating a lot of these expenses, but look at this. This is a super helpful tool. I now that see that I can get almost a 6% cash on cash return. Definitely not seeing that anywhere in Denver, but again, I'm just looking at MLS deals, but look at this, an 18% annualized return. And this calculator, this analysis gives you everything you need to know. And I know a lot of people, if you're new, focus on cash flow. And that is super important if you are trying to retire anytime soon, but um, it, it's not the only thing. You also need to take into account everything else that a real estate investor cares about. 
right? You want to know what your net operating income is. You want to know what your long-term growth is. And just by doing this, guys, that took me five minutes and I'm talking to you. Like if I wasn't talking to you, it probably would have talked three minutes, right? It's super easy. So this tool and analyzing deals, it has this mystique around it, right? Like how am I going to analyze deals? Well, I just showed you how to do it and it's super easy. And now I can see my annualized profit. If I sold this, in year three, I'd make a 25% return. That's unbelievable, right? So that's a great way to do this. And what I also think is really important here, and we're going to talk about this next, is you can take this report and you can share it with people. And I can make it into a PDF. So I can upload a logo. I probably should have prepared one. I'll just use this random YouTube video um, logo that I have. And I can download this PDF, right? And this is super important because it makes you look professional. And if you're going to go out and raise money, if you're going to try and find partners, if you want to get your spouse on board, this is a really great way to do it. It breaks down all the numbers for you and you know that there's no mistakes, right? I used to, back in the day, make my own spreadsheets. And this is what I do. I am a trained data analyst. I have a master's degree in this. And I don't do it because I know that I can make mistakes in a spreadsheet. And I just do this instead. And so I can see this incredibly professional um, report that has all the numbers that a lender is going to care about, all the numbers that a potential loan officer is going to care about, that a partner is going to care about, all here put in a very professional format. So you could do this on your own. And again, I'm not going to spend you spend the time to teach you how to do this by hand um, because it's it's just easier to do it in a calculator. But those are the inputs. If you do want to do it by hand, you need to know. Um, your purchase price, your loan amounts, you need to be able to do all of that. Um, so again, if you want to do it by hand, there are resources and bigger pockets that you can do and find that for free. But personally, like I said, this is all about having a system. You need to find, remember, you need to find 300 deals and analyze 40 of them. If you really want to go and analyze 40 of them by hand, you can, you absolutely can. But if you want to do more deals faster, if you want to do as many deals as it takes to take control of your financial future, I recommend you build a system that is automated and that is built by people who are experts in this. And so that is how I analyze a deal. All right, so that's it. So we've talked about step one, sourcing deals. You wanna see a lot of deals. Find as many deals as you can. Number two, analyze a deal. Super easy, using the Bigger Pockets calculator. Step three, finance. And now I put, finance third. And I know this is unusual and it's not exactly what other people do, but here's the reason why. If you have a good deal, you will find the financing. That's it, right? If you investors, myself included, investors want to find good deals. So if you go to them with a professional report, like the one I just showed you and said, look at this deal. It is better than anything you can find on Zillow. It is better than any turnkey option. Do you want to invest in it? Not everyone's going to say yes, but you're going to have a much better chance of raising money and finding financing once you already have a deal. If you go to a lender and you're inexperienced, you're like, I need $300,000. And they're like, for what? And you don't have a deal to show them? Not as likely. But if you have a great deal, they're going to help you finance it. And so I, I don't have all the time to talk about financing. That's not the focus of this webinar. But it's the point, what the point I want to make here is that you find a deal first and worry about financing it second. Because so many people in their head, they're like, oh, I don't have the money to invest in real estate. Yeah, but you don't have a great deal yet. You don't have anything to finance. You don't have the money. Like, what do you even need the money for? You don't even have a deal. If you find a great deal, the money is going to be there. I promise you. Even if you don't invest in it, you can wholesale it, right? That's another thing about Deal Machine. You find a great deal, you can wholesale it. So I'm actually going to share with you at the end, we have a, a bonus for people. David Green and Brandon put together a nine-part video series on how to finance it. So I'm not going to get it, spend too much time on this today, but um, it is something that you can check out. We have, we're going to give that away at the end of it. Um, Gerardo says, what if I don't have good credit? And that's a great question. But Gerardo, what I would say to you is if you don't have good credit, but you have a good deal, you can find a credit partner. If you have a good deal and you go to someone who has good credit and say, I want to partner you with this. I found this great deal. You know what? Finding a good deal in today's market is much harder than having good credit, right? 
I mean, finding a good deal, that is the premium, right? Having a good deal is gold in today's day and age. That's what everyone wants, right? So money is flowing around right now. No one knows what to do. There's so much money in the market right now. That's why there's so much inflation because there's so much capital in the market. People don't know what to do with it. And so if you have a good deal, even if you have bad credit, you're going to be able to find someone who can augment your team, right? So if you don't have the money for a down payment, but you found a good deal, you can find someone who will partner with you and give you the money for the down payment if you have a good deal. And that maybe you know someone personally, maybe you don't, but start networking right now as you're looking for deals. Go to your local RIA, network with people on bigger pockets. And when you find a good deal, I promise you, if you have a good network and a good deal, that you will be able to do it. That is the, that is the key. And this is what's why it's so important to have the system. Because if you're continuously getting good deals and you're continuously able to analyze them and show other people that you have an excellent deal, and you can line up financing. That's all you need. That's absolutely all you need. Okay, so that's step three. And then step four is execute. And guys, this part is up to you. You have, you know, the reason we start these webinars with the motivational speech about taking control of your financial future is because it really is, it comes down to how much you want it. You know, there are so many people who I talk to who go out and find deals and they just never fall through it. They get scared. And it's really up to you. And I think to me, the the best way, the best advice I can give you to taking control and really executing on these deals is just to trust your numbers, to trust your team, to trust your community. And you have to take responsibility for your goals. And Ryan said, assume everyone here is motivated. And that's true. I could assume everyone here is motivated. But at the end of the day, not everyone here is going to do their deal. And I, that, that makes me sad. And I'm trying to, to teach you how to do it. But ultimately, some people here are going to do a deal and some are not. And it really is up to you if you are going to, to, to trust the process, to follow this process, right? Because a lot of people are motivated. If I said to you, Brandon uses this analogy all the time. I love it. If you said, how many of you want to lose weight this year or get in better shape, whatever, everyone would raise their hand, right? But how many people, if I said, how many of you are you going to follow a process and a system for losing weight, diet and exercise every single day? A lot of, maybe I will do that. It's the same thing with real estate, right? A lot of people want a great financial future. Maybe you say you're motivated for that, but are you willing to actually follow the process every single day? Are you going to source deals? Are you going to analyze them? Are you going to network every single day? That's it. Is it, are you going to take responsibility for your goals? That's really what it comes down to. So just in summary, the safe approach, this is my system and how I would use it, is you know what a good deal is, right? Because if you're analyzing 40 deals, if you're looking at 300 deals, you're going to know what a good deal is because you're going to look at so many. You know, you know, people are like, what's a good, what's a good deal? Go analyze 40 deals. I promise you, you will be able to answer that question for yourself. Now, you can... If you follow this approach, you can master deal flow and analysis, and then the financing becomes easy. And I know this is the one way, this is, this is the way to get to financing. And I know a lot of people in their mind have that as a roadblock, and it can be challenging, don't get me wrong. But if you can master deal flow, if you can find great deals, and if you can analyze them, and if you have a system for doing that consistently, the financing becomes easy. And again, I keep saying this, I know, but it is a system that you can replicate over time and you will be able to finance deals. And the other thing is, guys, if you follow the system and you find great deals and maybe at the end of the day, you don't buy all of them, you can wholesale them. You want to make an extra five grand, 10 grand there, just go go wholesale them. So those are the benefit of the safe approach. Now, I do want to give you words of caution, guys. Again, don't buy anything you can find, especially with dollar cost averaging. We talked about that. It, it buy consistently, but always find good deals, right? Like you have to find a good deal and you have to analyze them. So I'm not saying just go buy anything every year or every two years, buy a deal that meets your criteria. That is a good deal and find that on a consistent basis Two, trust the plan. Guys, the key to dollar cost averaging is to buy at regular intervals, no matter what happens. So goes up, buy goes down, buy. And I know that can be scary, 
but you don't like just admit the truth, which is that you don't know what the market is going to do. And so you have to just keep buying at regular intervals. And guys, the safe approach is the best way I know to mitigate risk. It's what I personally do. And I'm a relatively conservative investor, to be honest. Um, it's the best way I know to mitigate this. But just to be clear, there is no way to be 100% safe. Real estate investing has risks. You have to find and execute good deals. So guys, at the end of the day, I know it can be really intimidating. Real estate investing often feels like jumping off a cliff. And I know that people feel like it's this huge decision. And it is. It is a big decision. But ultimately, if you can find great deals and if you trust the system, this is what real estate investing is like. It's not hard. I invest, guys, I'm going to tell you the truth. I spend probably five to 10 hours a month on my real estate investing, and it does great. And it's amazing because I have a system. I have people who manage properties for me. I'm able to find deals. I can analyze deals in a couple of seconds on bigger pockets. And my life, it supports my life. So it's great. Um, so I guess one just wanted you guys to encourage you that this isn't hard. It's about following a plan and sticking to it. And at Bigger Pockets, guys, this is what we do. We build tools to help investors on their journey towards their goals in life. And it's not just theory. I personally have worked at Bigger Pockets for over six years, and I know that we have helped tens or hundreds of thousands of people find financial freedom because of real estate investing. And if all of these people can do it, they are not, they're no different from you. You can absolutely do it as well. So I'm going to leave you with these three. I'm going to go into these three questions, guys, at the end of the day. Do you believe, like, do you believe that you, you real estate can help you achieve financial independence, regardless of market conditions? I hope I've helped you understand that over the long term, this is true. Are you ready to start taking action and to move towards your financial goals? Because it's great to wish that your financial situation is better, but are you ready to be accountable and to follow a system to take action towards your financial goals? And third, do you have the team and the system in place to execute your financial goals? Because ultimately, that's what it is. And if you answered yes to any of those questions, let's look at some tools that can help minimize risk, increase your confidence, and honestly help you get to your financial goals in 2022. So guys, let's talk about how you can start taking action, how you can start following the system. And so guys, I'm going to talk to you just for a few minutes and about Bigger Pockets Pro because this is the tool. Like if you need a way to jumpstart your real estate investing, Bigger Pockets Pro is a way to become a better real estate investor. And we have spent decades Eve, I love this. Bigger Pockets Pro is the best. She's she's doing this for me. Thank you, Eve. Bigger Pockets Pro, what we designed this for is to help you analyze properties and get to your next deal faster. And this is really important for dollar cost averaging, right? Like you want to keep buying deals at regular intervals and you need a system to do that. And this is what Bigger Pockets is designed to do. We've spent 15 years designing this. Um, thank you guys so much. People love Bigger Pockets. Oh, it's so nice. Bernadette, Steven, thank you guys. Um, so here's what you get with Bigger Pockets Pro. Ultimately, the first thing you get, I've already shown you this analyze investment property in minutes and determine which ones are you pursuing. And again, you can get, and that's because you get unlimited access to analysis and rent estimator calculators. And I talked a little bit about this before, but I just want to hit on this again, that you could do this on your own if you're good at spreadsheets. But like, I have a master's degree in data analyst, and I use the Bigger Pockets Pro calculators every single time because I, I know that it can make a mistake. And I think the other thing is Bigger Pockets is so big now that this has just become, it's become the industry standard, right? Like if you're going to go out and try and find financing or you want to find a deal and you bring them a bigger pockets calculator, people know that you did your numbers, right? They're not going to worry about like, oh, did he, did he calculate it the way that I would? Or did he make sure this formula is right? I mean, you already know it's right. Like we've spent years refining this. So it's something I, I really think it's super professional. It's the industry standard and you can do it in minutes. Second, you can accurately estimate rent rates based on local property comps. This is really difficult data to find. And we've spent years sourcing this data, refining our algorithms, and, I, and, and coming up with this rent estimator tool. It is one of the most amazing tools that we have. 
So you can check out all this data. I've already shown it to you. Third, if you want to become a better investor and look at data, look at exclusive content, webinar replays, and everything about the housing market, that's what we reserve for our Bigger Pockets Pro members. And I, um, people are asking if there's discounts. I'm going to share the pro in just a, in uh, uh, the price in just a second, and a couple of deals that we have for you guys. But I just want to make sure that you guys understand what is part of Bigger Pockets Pro, and it's curated articles, videos. I put out a lot of these. I spend so much time doing data analysis to help people understand what's going out there, um, and that's a big part of it. So you can get all that exclusive data. And one of my favorite things that people often forget about is lease documents. So it is hard to come up with a lease, pet addendums, all this other stuff. And it you can actually get lease addendums for all 50 states. We work with 50 different lawyers or something like that. And you can get lease documents that are updated every single year for every single state. It's worth a ton of money. So, and then lastly, you get all sorts of perks, including access to our discounted boot camp. So if you haven't heard about the Bigger Pockets boot camps, they're unbelievable. There are, uh, there are rookie boot camps with Ashley Care. There are short term rental uh, boot camps with Tony. Um, so there's amazing, amazing stuff here. So um, these are just some of the Bigger Pockets Pro. But ultimately, guys, at the end of the day, why should you consider Bigger Pockets Pro? It's just, it flat out works. It's like each of these individual things is great, but the sum total of all of this, of being a bigger pockets pro, is what really, really matters here. It just, it straight up works. I can't even tell you in my six years here how many hundreds of thousands of people who I met who have become successful real estate investors because of bigger pockets pro, tens of thousands all the time. And so, Again, ask yourself, do you have the tools in place? Are you ready to pursue financial freedom? Because if you have your goals in place, if you're able to find deals, if you're able to analyze deals and have the system, that is what really matters. And that's what Bigger Pockets Pro is all about. So don't just take it from me. We have all sorts of people who, I mean, people in the chat here, if you've been looking, have been singing the praises of Bigger Pockets Pro. Basically, it's Aaron says it's a go to for analyzing potential properties. There's no way I can analyze the volume of properties I do without being a pro member. I locked up my first three unit almost a year ago, and now I'm selling for almost a 70K profit that will go to something larger. Easter says it works. It does absolutely work. Let's hear from Patrick as well. He said that. Back in June, he attended a webinar. Right afterwards, he signed up for Pro. The next couple of weeks, analyzed a bunch of deals, found a fourplex, got under contract. Big thank you to the entire team. Made my money back at the closing. Guys, if you do a single thing, go for it. So if you, just for being here, Bigger Pockets Pro, you're going to save 20%. We want people to jump in right now. 20% if you use the code SAFE. So that's like the system that I'm using, S-A-F-E. You're going to get 20% off if you do the pro annual membership. And that's super important here. Um, and so uh, you, <laughs> safe word, yeah. Um, so 20% off is the discount. And we are not just giving you a discount. We're going to give you some other stuff as well. Normally, it is $390. But if you go use the 20% off discount code, SAFE, S-A-F-E, today, we are going to drop that down to 312 bucks. And we're just doing this for pro annual because... Honestly, we want you guys to buy in. And the, you know, the monthly subscription is more expensive to start with. And if you buy in, like the whole key of what I'm trying to tell you about is building a system. And if you just do it for a week and you dabble in it and don't commit to it, you're less likely to be successful. If you commit to this and go for it, that's what we want you to do. And that's why we're incentivizing you to go for the pro annual. So two, 312 bucks, you save 20% on your pro annual membership if you use the code SAFE. That's S-A-F-E. And we have a lot of bonuses for you. So like I said, guys, we have this incredible nine-part video series. If you go pro today and you get a nine-part video series worth $200 on its own, it almost pays for it itself. For Brandon and David Green, they break down their nine favorite strategies for investing with little and no money down. So even if after today, you're not sure how to invest with little or no money down, this is an awesome way to do it. Next, we have Finding Great Deals Masterclass. So I've shown you all about Deal, Deal Machine and how you can find great deals with them. 
But if you're not convinced and you need more help, we have a masterclass with some really experienced uh, investors um, that you can uh, really experience investors. This is an almost a thousand dollar value. So definitely check that out if you go pro today and you get online boot camp access. This is probably the most valuable thing. I mean, these boot camps are unbelievable. If you want to have accountability and the ability to network with other investors who are at your stage that you can talk to and bounce ideas off of, these boot camps are amazing and you only get access to them if you are a bigger pockets pro. So, this is the biggest discount we give out guys. These bonuses are pretty much the best bonuses that we ever give out as well. So this is really good. Um, the boot camps uh, are going to be launched every quarter. So definitely take advantage of that. And if you're a bigger pockets pro, you'll be ready to join the boot camps right when they come out. In addition, if you are a bigger pockets pro, um, you also have an exclusive deal for deal machine. So I showed you deal machine um, and it's awesome. So if you uh, want to go with Deal Machine, they're going to help you find these simple deals. Remember, the top of the funnel, finding deals, one of the hardest things that you can do. Um, so we're also going to give a discount on Deal Machine. Um, you're going to get automated follow-ups. You're going to get the skip tracing. You're going to be able to talk directly to sellers. You cut out the middleman, right? Deal Machine allows you to source more deals than the, multi the MLS and turnkey. You're probably going to get it. Um, so here's what they have. Um, and, and just just as a as an example, the reason we're working with Deal Machine is because it complements Bigger Pockets Pro. Bigger Pockets Pro, we have deal analysis, we have uh, calculators, we have all of these resources and content, we have the leases. But what we don't really have as Bigger Pockets Pro is the deal sourcing. And one of the things at, why these tools go so well together is because Deal Machine is such an incredible tool for sourcing deals. Um, just as an example, Ryan Haywood, he's a he's a Bigger Pockets Pro member who also has Deal Machine and he has done over 170 deals, guys. That is unbelievable. So you get 170 deals, this guy, Ryan. And he said, I find motivated sellers using Deal Machine and I use the Bigger Pockets Pro calculators to evaluate my deals. So this is an example of a system, right? You find a system where you can find deals and analyze them. That's Deal Machine. That's Bigger Pockets Pro. That's why we're putting these two things together. So the exclusive Deal Machine bonuses are you get multi step mail sequences. It's $240 value. And you get free marketing credits for direct mail um, for $20 value. And you get access to their comp data tool. So this is over $500. That's what they're offering for any Bigger Pockets Pro. And so when you go, Upgrade to Bigger Pockets Pro using the code SAFE. So you have to go pro to get the deal machine um, to unlock exclusive deal machine benefits. Um, just use that code SAFE and you'll be able to unlock these things with Deal Machine. So um, that's a super exciting um, opportunity. This is the first time we're offering this. I don't know if we're going to offer this again. So if you're interested in Deal Machine, interested in Bigger Pockets Pro, today is absolutely the day to do this. Um, again, uh, another thing, just more bonuses. We're just giving out stuff right now. So um, go uh, Deal Machine account. If you sign up and use the code SAFE, you can get custom direct mail designs um, inside your Deal Machine account. So we've actually made a bigger pockets themed um, mail design, and you will get that as well. Um, so something that you definitely want to check out. So again, the Deal Machine stuff are nationwide MLS comps. You're going to get um, all of, sorry, whoops. Um, so you're going to get all these comps, which is not necessarily something they give away. It's one of their higher tiers. And so you're going to get a $240 value. Um, if you are already pro, I see a lot of people, um, uh, mentioning this. Um, I think if you just go to the, uh, I'll show you what to do in a minute. If you go to biggerpockets.com slash already pro, um, that's a way to do this. And we will make sure that you get the, uh, deal machine deal as well. So ultimately we are giving away almost $2,800 of, of value right now. We want people to go pro. This is a really unique opportunity. You're getting 20% off a pro membership. You're getting $500 in deal machine bonuses. So already right there, these things are paying for themselves. You're getting the workshop on funding deals with Brandon and David, how to find great deals, online boots camp access, Go to biggerpockets.com slash pro upgrade right now. Use the code SAFE. Again, this guy's this is a once, you know, we've never done this kind of deal before. So um, if you want to take advantage of this incredible opportunity, go check that out. 
Again, here you go. If you are already pro, um, you can go to these resources and find it out. And guys, the other thing, no, Deal Machine is not um, pro, uh, Raza. Someone was just asking, uh, Deal Machine is not free. You still have to upgrade it, but they're giving you all these bonuses on top. So they're giving away $500 of free value if you are a bigger pockets pro. So you're going to get additional features. You're going to get additional mailing credit, um, really uh, helpful tools, um, comps, which is not normally included, um, the, the free design template, things that you don't normally get as part of Deal Machine, you're going to get if you are a bigger pockets pro. Um, okay. And the last thing I want to just say about this, guys, if you don't like it, if you go fro and you don't like it, we're going to give you your money back. We, if, if you don't, like, we don't want to take your money if you're not going to be a successful real estate investor. Bigger Pockets is all about what our values are, is making you a successful real estate investor. And if you don't like it, you don't love it after 30 days, just email us. We will give you all of your money back. The promo code is, is only good. I think it's good for two days. Um, so... At the end of the day, so uh, yeah, for two, two or three days. So you're gonna want to do it this weekend or this week if you if you do it. So definitely go. I, I I can follow up and check on that, but I think it's only two or three days that it's good for. So if you're gonna do it, I mean, do it right now. We're trying, you know, we're doing this as a limited thing. So um, if guys, at the I I sorry, I put in this quote from Jim Rohn because I I, I it's a good way to like summarize everything that we've talked about. It. Oh, thanks, said I just signed up for Bigger Pockets Pro. Congratulations. That's awesome. Anyone else who goes pro, let me know. This is very exciting. It's really cool. Um, <laughs> no, there's no Bahama vacation uh, vacation we're giving away. Um, so it, guys, if you really want to do something, you'll find a way. If you don't, you'll find an excuse. It's super important. So if you want to take control of your financial future, build this system. I genuinely, genuinely believe that using Deal Machine, using Bigger Pockets Pro is the best way to do that. But if you don't, Go build your own system and find a way to pursue it because real estate, no matter of the market conditions, like we talked about today, it is still a great way to build wealth. Even in these crazy markets, I believe in real estate more now than ever. Look at other markets out there. Look at other asset classes. Real estate is still the best way to do it. And if you set your goals, you build your process and you take action, you can absolutely, absolutely do this. Mm -hmm.